Welcome to this video tutorial for audio motors. Today, we're going to show you how to set up and use audio motors for creative engine sound design. First, start up your digital audio workstation. It can be anything from Pro Tools to Reaper. We support AAX, RTAS, VST and AU for both 32 and 64 bits, as well as Mac and PC. Create a new track in your workstation and launch audio motors as a plugin. The first thing you'll need to do is to load a sound file. Audio Motors is bundled with a bunch of great recordings we've made from consumer car to true racing cars. You can of course use those sounds commercially, but it is extremely easy to use your own recordings. Click the load button and select the sound file. You can also drag and drop the sound file in the spectrogram region. Once the file is loaded, Audio Motors will analyze it automatically. When the analysis is done, you can preview the file by clicking the play button. Ok, now we're gonna start playing some sounds. Audio Motors offers you three different ways to synthesize engine sounds. The first synthesis mode is the drive mode. It's a new realistic way of playing your engine recordings in Audio Motors. With the drive mode, moving the acceleration slider is just like throwing the gas pedal in a real car. In this mode you've got two parameters, throttle mode and car model. The car model determines the speed your car will take to go from 0 RPM to your target RPM. Then throttle mode gives you two settings, drive and rev. In drive mode you get the behavior of a car accelerating with an additional real-time filtering to add more punch and liveness. In rev mode you get the same behavior as if you were revving your engine on neutral gear waiting for the traffic light to turn green. The second synthesis mode is the RPM mode, which gives you control directly from the RPM tachometer. Given a value, the audio motor's synthesis engine looks for the region that has the closest RPM values and resynthesizes sounds with the target RPM. Of course, all those parameters fully support automation. When you're using RPM mode, you have the precise control over your recordings, so you will be able to create sounds for any kind of situations. RPM mode can also help you to create seamless transition between different recordings. For instance, if you have inside and outside recordings of the same car, by controlling directly the RPM you can switch perspective instantly by changing the sound you're using without having synchronized recordings. The RPM control will synchronize things for you. Beware, if you load a sound containing more than one acceleration or deceleration, audio motors analyze the file as a whole and might jump back and forth during playback. To avoid this kind of behavior, audio motors provide trim tools to facilitate isolating just the region you need.
third and last synthesis mode available is the scratch mode. Scratch is rather simple and it works just like scratching a good old vinyl record as the position of the cursor is moved instantly through the recording. But we added some of Audio Gaming's magic in this as well. Transition points are computed on the fly, allowing seamless transition between grains of sounds. This magic feature lets you create endless textures instantly. The scratch mode ignores the current trim setup, so by moving the slider you will always scratch from the beginning to the end of the sound file. While RPM and drive mode are best for heavily cycling sounds, scratch mode can be very handy for texture sounds like tire rolling, inside rumbles or even idle sounds. Note that Audio Motors is a great tool for real engine reproduction, but you can also use it in a more creative way by combining several instances of the plugin and use them with pitched synthetic textures. Audio Motors can help you design groundbreaking futuristic motor sounds. One of the cool features built in our version 2 of Audio Motors is the possibility of using your tablets or any other OSC enabled device to remotely take control of your sounds right at your fingertips. Here I'm using an iPad with Touch OSC, but you can pretty much use any kind of OSC device to take advantage of this feature. We created free templates for both Touch OSC and Limer, so if you want to start using your iPad or Android tablets, make sure you check audiogaming.net to download them. If you encounter any kind of problem or if you feel like giving some comments, please visit audiogaming.net and leave us a message. I hope you'll enjoy your motors as much as we did creating it. Audio. Gaming.